listen, we say something really special for you. And this product has just been blowing people away here at HSN. And I know a lot of you at home, it's called Reclaim. We call it the Beyond a Paint Cabinet and Furniture Finisher, multi-surface finisher. This stuff is truly amazing. I wish I had a lot to go around, but I only have 600 uh, of these to go around. And that's between the quart uh, um, uh, container and the gallon container. So what this does, and prepare to be amazed, this is going to restore, revive, completely reinvent kitchen cabinets. It could be a beautiful piece of furniture. How does it do that? Well, it's amazing. The, the, the actual material covers all the steps. You don't have to strip. You don't have to sand. Ugh, I don't even want to get to say sanding. You don't have to prime. You simply apply the multi-surface finisher and the results are absolutely amazing. Today, we're doing it with free shipping and handling. We're doing it with the one quart size for $49.95 and it pays for itself the first time you use it. The real deal is the gallon where you get four times the amount for only $129.95. This will bond instantly. It primes and finishes in one step. It works on practically any surface out there. So whether it's kitchen cabinets, whether it's a beautiful piece of furniture, a gorgeous piece of woodwork, it'll give you the dramatic effects that will last a long, long time. It's also easy to maintain. And the first time we've ever had it available in the silver, metallic, with 25 years in the business, our good friend Tom Morell is here. Come on out, buddy. He is gonna show you how you can achieve these amazing before and afters. Tom, welcome, buddy. Guy, thank good you for having me today. Pal. This product, I will tell you, I've talked to a lot of people here. They're like, oh my gosh, you need to try it. Amazing. And one step, simple, easy. Tell us how it works. It's simple. If, with Reclaim, there's no <coughs> stripping, sanding, or priming. We've actually taken all the fun out of painting. I'm sorry, we put the fun in painting and everybody can do it. You simply just degrease whatever it's gonna be, whether it's your kitchen cabinet, your vanity, your furniture. You can even paint this product on tile and anybody can do it. And the results are gonna be excellent. Let me show you how easy this product is. So what I like to do is, I like to put a little paint on there, and as you can see, it doesn't run and drip and roll all over the place. It's kind of just waiting for you to get up there and roll the product out and work with you. So I'll roll a little out, and I actually just use the edge of the roller. You don't need to get a brush. You just want to get in there, put the paint on, okay. and what's going to happen in a couple minutes, it's going to lay down and give you a uniform finish unlike any other paint. Look how thick it is. It's amazing. It's, yeah. got, it's got a very high pigment rate, so you're gonna get a great coverage. A little quart will go a very long way. A long way. You can do about 12 to 15 cabinet doors with this product, just in a quart. Just in a quart. Yep. So All right, I wanna remind everybody, while you're going to town here, the gallon is the most limited. I have 190 available in the gallon, and I've got about 400 available in the quart. So, so you continue to just put sort of an even coating all over. Simple as that. Yeah. And what's great about this product, not only is just a paint, it has a bonding agent, and colorant, and a sealer included. So when you put it on, it's just a one-step product. You just clean the grease, roll it on, and everything's in it for you. You know, the real nightmare has always been, and the reason I haven't done it <laughs> in the past, <laughs> is because trying, you know, when you've got cabinets, you know, you've got a lot of nooks and crannies inside here. Correct. And, and with most paint products, if you don't get all that out, it's gonna wind up chipping and peeling and you have to sand it afterwards. You gotta strip it down. So all I need to do is just wipe these down, get rid of any residual grease that's on there. Correct. And just paint them, that's it. Correct, just let it dry and roll it no on. No sanding, nothing. Nothing, we've we've taken, made it easy for you. All right. It does a great job, anybody can do it. And then this is, is this the after right here? Yes. Check it out, look at this guys. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. Complete coverage. It, I mean, it's taken those cabinets and, and brought them up to date. I mean, it, and, and, and that, I love this wash, sort of a country washed out look right there too. It is, it's, it's, beautiful. Be it's beautiful. It's not only great, it's durable, unlike yeah. any other paint. Now this is Reclaim, and as you can see, it's just staying on there. It's just the most durable paint you'll ever buy. But with a standard paint, it's just gonna come off. Yeah. So you kinda just wanna stop wasting your time. Don't do that, it's not fun, it's right. not gonna work. Stick with the Reclaim, easy to use, yeah. you get it done right away. If you use regular paint on this right here, because it's a finished piece of wood, Correct. right? It's gonna scrape right off. You could probably get a scraper and take the whole thing off easily. That's right. Because it's not gonna have the same makeup that the Reclaim has, which actually bonds to whatever it is that you're, you're painting it on. There's no sanding. You know, when you have to sand and strip, you do that so the paint will adhere. 
Yes. That's really why you do it. This has the ability to adhere without going through any of those uh, different processes. Really quickly, Tom, let me go through the colors okay. that we have available and the sizes. So I, I, I said before, <clears throat> the gallon, excuse me, there's only about 180 of the gallon size, and that's really the deal that you want to get. Remember, you could do, how many cabinets can I do with a quart? A quart will do 12 to 15 12. cabinet doors and the box. That's unbelievable. So it'll do 12 to 15 cabinets. I'm going to walk over, and we're going to go through the colors here. So, um, Tom, I'll let you just go through okay. one at a time. Obviously, these are our, our best-selling colors. White is an amazing color, pops everything, makes it really bright and, and Brings everything up to date. Right. Off white That's is what off. we just did, right? Right. Okay. Uh, no, I, we did the off white. Off white is a number one seller as well. Licorice black is in. It's beautiful. Nantucket is just an awesome blue. Uh, mocha, pewter, and you really want something to pop. You grab some pop, uh, poppy. You got That's some Adirondack chairs cute, outside. You want to bring them up to life. And this is a great product. You can use this outside as well. It's not just for inside. Really? Oh, you can put it outside and do your patio furniture. Plastic, metal, yeah. vinyl, linoleum. So it'll even work on like plastic furniture outside. It, it will bond just That's about crazy. anything you can put it on. I love the I love this Nantucket and this sage. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm a New Englander, so I love these colors. So if you wanted to do just your cabinets in this, you could buy the court and you could do 12 to 15 cabinets. If you want to do the gallon, think about all the stuff you can do with the gallon. You can do your whole house. Oh. I mean, a lot of different areas of your house. Right. At least. Entire living room. Bedroom set, you can keep moving on. All right, with let's it. talk about the new color. Great. All right, the new colors that we have available. We've launched the uh, Navy on here before, just a little while back, only on HSN, but now we're bringing out the metallic silver. That's awesome. First time ever, only here on HSN. Look at this, and this is, and you can see it up here on the cabinet. So if you wanna, you know, you wanna do a little pop of something that's gonna be noticed, maybe you've got a beautiful old uh, chair, and you're, you know, or, or you've got a beautiful table, and you thought, I'd really love to bring in a cool color. You can choose any one of these. Now, um, Aaron, all these are available in both sizes right now, correct? Okay, so for right now, if you want the quart, you can get all colors. If you want the gallon, you can still get the all colors. Let's do some more stuff. This Great. is fun. Let's get I rolling. Love this. So what's next? All right, so here's a table, and not only is it wood, we've done the bottom with the metallic. I mean, and look how nice it is. Okay. I mean, you can yeah, do yeah, it yeah, in yeah. two different colors, easy to go. All right. And you know, and here's a table that is a uh, got tile on the top, so wood this is, on it. This is real. This is tile right here, and then it's also got wood, so multi-surface. Right, and we can just go over the grout lines, the wood, in easy coats, and anybody can do it. Dude, I can't believe the coverage on this stuff. And what's great is, look, I'm rolling in any direction. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So I don't have to worry about brush strokes. No brush strokes, no roller marks, and you can roll it in any direction, because as it lays down, it's gonna give you a uniform finish. It's all gonna pull together and just come out and give you that uniform finish, professional gray finish that everybody wants, everybody's gonna get. And it's just too simple to use. Look at that. And now we, don't, we, we can go ahead and try to finish it or we can just stop there and we'll show you. There's the before and there's the after. Now keep in mind, you don't have to do anything to this once you lay it down in, in an even coat. That's, that's the, 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 the best part about this is it's finished. But remember beforehand, you, know, you notice Tom didn't break out any sanding uh, paper. He didn't have to do anything other than clean the table. And what you wanna do, <clears throat> obviously, if you've got any oil or grease, especially cabinets in a kitchen, uh, you wanna make sure that you, that you completely clean those so they don't have the greasy grime on them, which doesn't take very long. But at least you're not sanding. Heck, I'd rather spray something on and wipe them off rather than sit there with sandpaper, which I won't do anymore. I'll, <laughs> I would let somebody else do that. But you know what's nice about this, Tom, too, is it gives you a, it gives you a great project you can do, and you can take something that maybe you were going to get rid of and you breathe new life into it. I mean, exactly. it, it's ideal. Maybe you're one of those people that loves to go collect antiques and you're thinking, boy, I could, I could make a, you could, you could make a living doing this stuff. You absolutely Take little can. pieces of furniture and turn them into something beautiful. Have a little yard sale from time to time. All right. Uh, update me, Aaron. Where are we at? What do we have left? I'm supposed to be on the, limited. the most limited is the, is the off white in the gallon. Bright white. So the bright white will sell out first. If you want that, you need to be ordering right now. Less than five minutes is all that you need to do. Uh, if you just joined us, we're talking about Reclaim. Reclaim, we call it Beyond Paint because, listen, regular paint, when you, when you paint a surface, what do we have to do with a regular, let's say I'm doing a cabinet and I bought a regular can of paint. What do I do, Tom? 
Oh, you're stripping, sanding, and priming, and it's not only that, it's the cleanup of the dust yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Right, and, and if they, you don't do it properly, your job will it, it'll, you'll show in the end because you'll right. see marks where it didn't, the paint didn't adhere. Right. What's the difference with Reclaim? Reclaim has a bonding agent, a colorant, and a sealer. It's the most advanced paint you'll ever use or ever get. And again, everybody gets a professional grade finish. Clean to grease, roll it out, lays down, every, everything becomes uniform, and everything looks like it almost came out of a factory. I mean, this is a special product. We you, just you, came off of... Well, uh, and I think everybody out there has tried their hand in doing some do-it-yourself projects with paint. And, and realistically, you think, you know, when you look at the prices here on this product, you have to remember how many steps you've eliminated, how many products you don't have to buy to do a project like that. If you were gonna do a cabinet like this, right, you'd probably get some kind of stripping agent if it had any kind of a painting surface or, or finish or a on it. Right. Um, you'd sand it. Uh, you say you, you could do it by hand if you're insane and you want to spend the rest of your life sanding, <laughs> and especially these little cracks and crevices. You'd have to sand it. You'd have to also have, you'd have to vacuum the entire place because there'd be dust all over the place from doing that. Wipe it all down. You'd have to do all that and then you'd have to prime it with some kind of a primer. That's right. And then maybe a coat, maybe two. You might have to put a finishing coat on it. Right. You would spend three times the amount of money when, at the end of the day when you finish doing all those cabinets or you can buy one quart and you could do 15 cabinets and the box that the cabinets are with. Right. Or, what a great deal. Or get a gallon, do a nice size kitchen, and yeah. again, no brush marks, yeah. no roller marks. Will you do this one again? Can you do that one for me? Or you want to do whatever you want to do. Tell me what your next demo would be. Let's do, uh, let's uh, finish up this. Yeah, one. finish up the table. So this table has not been sanded. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got chairs we can do too. We'll do those last. Because that's really that, that is really what interests me. Because I have a couple of chairs uh, that I've got in my storage that I was going to toss, only because they're kind of just generic and they're not really. I mean, the furniture is good grade, but they're not really that great looking. So look at that's dude, you did that literally in seconds. Uh, I mean, in our, for our show, you did that in a matter of seconds, and you got that great uniform coat. What's the next step with sure, this? Should we go over the colors? Well, what again? would you do with this next? I'm just let that Nothing. dry. It's going to lay down again, give you a uniform flat finish, and then you come back, you put your second coat on, and yeah. you are done. 37 five-star reviews this product has. We're going to go through our colors one more time. Tom, take us through everything we got left. I will remind you um, from my producer, Aaron. Aaron, what do I have left? What's the... Bright white in the gallon just sold out. So so we have everything else. We have it available in the court. Let's go through the Great. rest. Again, our top seller, off-white, bright white, licorice. Nantucket is spectacular. Looks great. Uh, mocha, pewter, poppy, pebble. This is the product they used on this old house. And it, their kitchen they did in one day. One day, just Crazy. two people. Inside the cabinets and out. Hey, Thomas, Mike, if my cabinets have a shinier finish, do I need to worry about that or no? No, it'll go right off for a glossy finish. You don't have really? to sand. Just again, just clean it, degrease it, and roll the product out. You become a professional painter. What are the, the colors durable we got? Finish. Uh, linen, very nice. Sage green, a little smooth yellow, and Versailles. All of them are still available. That Versailles, this is almost like a, it almost has like a minty light green uh, co color to it. Right. On the gray, more on the gray value. Um, if you want these, and by the way, you can mix and match. You know, uh, they, a lot of the colors go well together. So if you wanted to have fun with it and you wanted to be creative, if you're one of those folks that loves to collect furniture, I mean, let's take a look at these two chairs. Tell us what we got here. Perfect, simple. I mean, grab a quart of paint. Buy a little fabric. Look at this. Do four chairs over, and look how amazing it is with that navy. Right, and and like this now. See, in a, you know, and in, in if you live like you know, we live here down near the beach. This would look great in a beach house. This would not. <laughs> this would. <laughs> it's a little too traditional. So, and if it's not a collectible antique, and you want to refinish it. You always check to make sure you don't have collectible antiques right. before you paint them. But if you've got something like that, which is, you know, maybe something grandma had and it's just, it's going to go in the heap, why not change it and turn it into something That's fantastic? Right. And again, the metallic, beautiful yeah. color. Go ahead, do a table Here on the way go. out. Look at this. What material is that? Is that marble? That is a formica. A you formica. Right on top of it. And look how that coats. And beautiful. again, any Love direction. It. So we don't make it difficult for you. It All just right. works so easily. Here's what I'll tell you. Crazy busy right now. There's only about 300 left. Uh, if you want to pick it up, we still have it available. The only thing we don't have is the gallon size in the bright white, but everything else is still available. Tom, great job, my friend. Thank you. It's good to have you on the show. All right. That was a lot of fun. Thank you I so much. I can't wait to go.